This is the OTB Network. They're all in line. And they're off. And a fast start for Zip Trick. She bounces right out to the lead. Entertaining comes after her and Cherokee Queen on the stand side. Sunday Geisha's just in behind the pace early on, but moving up from between runners. And Cat Can Do is down along the inside. They're followed by Musical Romance, who tracks seven lengths off the lead. Brinka second last early on. And Dancing Rage is the trailer. She's up on the outside with about nine lengths to make up. And Zip Trick finds herself on the front today. The opening quarter was slow, 24-2. and two. Zip Trick and Abad Cabasa Jr. lead the way almost a length. Entertaining's got a good stalking spot from the outside. And Sunday Geisha's trying to find room down at the hedge, and she is coming on through and will force Zip Trick's hand going up the backstretch. Zip Trick had to step on the gas to stay in front of Sunday Geisha, and she maintains that lengthy lead. Sunday Geisha second. Entertaining still sitting the trip from between runners as Cherokee Queen gets closer to the outside. Half mile picked up to 47 and 4 so the second quarter much faster than the first for Zip Trick who's now being pushed on just a bit around the far turn Zip Trick three quarters of a length entertaining inching closer from between Phillies and Cherokee Queen is close enough if good enough three wide as they make the swing for home Zip Trick entertaining Cherokee Queen musical romance closing from fourth Zip Trick trying to hold them all at bay Zip Trick musical romance closing fast at the inside now Cherokee Queen is hitting her best drive. Cherokee Queen outside of Zip Trick. They come to the line. Cherokee Queen up in time. Zip Trick was second tight for third entertaining or musical romance. And waiting for Concord's Fury. They're all in line. And they're off. Good start for Coffee Boy. He sprints out for the early lead. Flatter this, showing a little speed. Bernie the Maestro there down along the inside, also right there with the leaders, and trying to deny Coffee Boy the rail as they go into the first turn. So the favorites are side by side as Bernie the Maestro does take that rail advantage and takes the lead away from Coffee Boy, who looks content to stalk from the outside under Elvis Trujillo. Flatter this runs along in 30s outside of VI Mongoose. Concord's Fury is fifth, and he's in the clear now with about five and a half lengths to make up. Then it's Indy Point. No speed from Shabishu. He'll have to pass them all, and he's already about 11 lengths back after an opening quarter that was a very solid 23-3. and three. So Bernie the Maestro now takes a clear lead up the backstretch. He extends to about a two-length margin over Coffee Boy. Flatter this continues to run in third. Concord's Fury is now into fourth. He just went by V.I. Mongoose, who's losing ground after a half mile that was 48-1. and one. They move to the far turn. Bernie the Maestro, Paco Lopez trying to do it all the way on the front end and the lead is down to a length. Coffee Boy working a little harder in the second spot, but he is gaining on Bernie the Maestro, and Flatter This is still in striking range. So is Concord's Fury. These four are well clear of the others, headed off by Indy Point, who's fifth, but about 18 lengths back with a quarter mile to run. Bernie the Maestro joined by Coffee Boy from the outside, and the two favorites right together as they make the swing for home, and Coffee Boy forges to stick ahead in front. Bernie the Maestro is going to have to battle back along the inside, and he is trying to battle back. 
back. It's Coffee Boy and Elvis Trujillo. Bernie the Maestro and Paco Lopez coming back from the inside. And Bernie the Maestro's back in front. Bernie the Maestro, tenacious. He wins the ride the rails. Coffee Boy was second flatter this. And Concord's Fury. Set. And they're off. For the outside, Mindy Sue breaks well, goes right for that lead and may get it unopposed in the early going. Mindy Sue to the front on the inside. Tapped him and is now going to engage that one in the early going. Tapped him on the inside, Mindy Sue on the outside. Now really going at a heated tempo in the early going. And comes down toward the inside. Sar Treaty racing in third. Right alongside Tammy's Victress is fourth. The gap of two lengths, the sweet tempress with the rail. Followed by Mismatch. Haven Sunny moves up on the inside of Swish Maravich. Now your trailer. Opening quarter, a very moderate for this group, 24 and 2. Six furlongs to go. On the front end, Tap Tam easily has the lead by a neck. Mindy Sue is right there. Going to engage that one again in second. Two lengths further back. Sar Treaty toward the inside. Tammy's Victress up on the outside. Mismatch moving up there three wide. Followed by Sweet Tempers with Haven Sunny and far back, the Swish Maravich. Down the back stretch they go. The half in 49 and 1. That's jogging for this group. On the front end, tap him with that control tempo. Leads it by three parts. Mindy Sue racing second. A length and a half further back to Sar Treaty. Mismatch moves up on the outside. Now, quickly, Sweet Tetris going to make a three wide move. Tammy's victorious, followed by Haven's Honey. Out of it, swish. Around the bend, Mindy Sue and Tap Tamron now set down for the drive. Mismatch will have to try to kick it in. It's been a very leisurely tempo. The front runners have plenty left. Up on the outside, it's. Looking to rally on the far outside. Sweet Tempers followed by Haven Sunny cutting that corner. They've gone the six furlongs in one, 13 and one. Down the lane they come. It's still Tap Tam and Mindy Sue head to head. Mismatch and Sweet Tempers trying to game with Haven Sunny, but Tap Tam has something left. Mindy Sue on the outside is trying to battle back. Mindy Sue and Tap Tam are going head to head in the final 70. And Mindy Sue edging away. Tap Tam getting second, tight for third with Mismatch and Sweet Tempers.
And they're off in the inaugural stakes. Good start for all. The outside worship the moon. And up the inside, Red Hot Buddha's got speed. Paradise Princess between horses, Zonga Zing. Now Paradise Princess takes the lead, Zonga Zing laying in second. Red Hot Buddha down along between horses. Then we've got Brilliant Sunshine moving up is Derwin Star. Then back to Silver Prism. And the trailer is Velvet Moss to the far turn they go. The first quarter, 22 and 3. And Paradise Princess is going to show the way. Zonga Zing laying in second. Derwin Star on the outside in third. Down along the inside, Red Hot Buddha between horses. Brilliant Sunshine. Silver Prism down along the rail. Then a length back. Worship the Moon. The trailer is still Velvet Moss to the top of the stretch. Paradise Princess has led every step of the way. Derwin Star starts to move. Red Hot Buddha's get an opening down along the inside. And Brilliant Sunshine on the far outside. Zonga Zing still looking for room. In mid-stretch, though, it's still Paradise Princess with the lead. Up the inside, Red Hot Buddha's getting to her. Then we've got Derwin Star with Paradise Princess. Red Hot Buddha along the rail. Paradise Princess, Red Hot Buddha at the wire. Red Hot Buddha wins it. Head bob at the wire between Red Hot Buddha, Buddha and Paradise Princess. Looked like the two Red Hot Buddha. They're all in line, and they're off. Good start for Syriana's song. Also emerging from between horses, Secret Gypsy. And it's Secret Gypsy now on even terms with Texas Country Doll and their stride for stride. Then it's another four to Syriana's song, followed by Mind Wander. Then it's another two to my new lady, who's about eight lengths from the front, and three more to News Brief. The quarter, 22 and one. Onto the far turn they go. Secret Gypsy and Robbie Alvarado in front by half a length. Pressure from Texas, a country doll on the outside. Oh, uh, then it's another three or four lengths. Trying to move through his mind wander. 
Mind Wander on the inside and out in the middle of the track. My new lady. The half and 45 and 2. 316s to go and they're on their way home. And Secret Gypsy getting all kinds of pressure. Trying to move through his mind wander. Up on the outside. My new lady. In deep stretch. My new lady. Jesus Lopez Castanon wins the Marquettel in 1 10 and 1. Four, Prima Donna Pirate in. They're all in line. And they're off. In the Indiana Downs, Distaff Stakes. Middle of the track. It's Prima Donna Pirate for the early lead along the inside. Go ask Alex. And then on the far outside, it's Ms. Thanksgiving with Helen Moline in between horses. Then a gap of four or five to Sing Sing Cinderella, Lisa's Kitten. And Shackalina, opening quarter in 23 and 2. Off to turn and race to the back stretch. Go ask Alex and John Court leads at half a length. Helen Moline, the outside second and two and a half. Miss Thanksgiving in third. With Prima Donna Pirate in fourth. And it's a gap of 5 6 to Alex Solis and Sing Sing Cinderella. Lisa's kitten is about a dozen lengths from the front. And Shackalina, the half, quick 46 and 3. On to the far turn they go. And go ask Alex, cutting these quick fractions, and leads it three parts of a length. Up on the outside, Helen Baleen, angling to the inside, Prima Donna Pirate. They're on their way home. And go ask. Alex lets it out another notch and leads it here by four five lengths. And go ask Alex and John Court rumping home to win the Indiana Downs distaff by seven. Prima Donna Pirate was seven, second, Helen Baleen third. Candy Kane and Garrett Gomez move forward now in the gate. 
and they're off in the unbridled Sydney to the inside. Ivory Empress did not get a swift beginning. Knockout Bertie towards the inside being taken on on the outside by Valentine Fever. Pushing up between horses is Selva and also right up there is Trusty Temper. A contentious early pace and it's now Trusty Temper who has taken the lead over Selva in second. Knockout Bertie to the inside in third to the outside. Valentine Fever racing in fourth with less than three furlongs to go. 22 seconds flat for the opening quarter mile. Candy Kane is pushed along with only two behind. Pina Colada at the back of the field together with Ivory Empress. Less than a quarter of a mile to go and the leader now is Knockout Bertie. Towards this one's outside is Selva in second. Valentine Fever trying to get a seam to the inside is Candy Kane. Inside the final furlong, Selva has got a slender lead. Knockout Bertie battling back to the hedge. Here on the outside, Ivory Empress and between horses, Candy Kane. Candy Kane goes through to win. Candy Kane takes the unbridled Sydney. In second was Ivory Empress tight. Third, knockout Bertie towards the inside of Selva. They're in the gate. They're off. Dan Gilded, one man steadied after the start. Henshin Hero got a great beginning. Bounce out to take the lead. Wando Red on the inside second. They both have good speed. Game on Dude comes away in third. Then that'll leave a mark. And Kreider about seven lengths off the leader. And at the back is the long shot, Gilded Woodman. Seven eights to go in the Lone Star Derby. And Henshin Hero has gone out to a clear lead out here. Bobby Walker Jr. tries to ration his speed, wants him to slow down right now, but he's in front by two. Wando Red also on a hold is racing second, but they've gone a pretty good pace. It's a gap of five back to Game On Dude, racing in third. Then it's Kreider on the outside of that'll leave a mark. They're both about eight lengths off the lead now, and a gap of seven back to Gilded Woodman. They run down the backstretch, and Henshin Hero with sprinter speed, leading it by two and a half lengths. The pace has been solid. Wando Red is right there in second. Game on dude begins to lengthen his stride easily. He's gaining now in third, and Kreider is doing the same in fourth. Then let will leave a mark, and the overmatch long shot, Gilded Woodman, has retreated. They continue on now to the far turn, and Henshin Hero has been in control every step, but Game On Dude is coming on big now in second, and Kreider now joins the party in third. Wando Red begins to battle, and a long way back to that'll leave a mark. Now a quarter of a mile to go. Game on, dude. And game on, dude. Finds the front at the top of the stretch. Kreider might be the main danger on the outside. And there's an eighth of a mile to go. It is game on, dude, by a length. Kreider going to try to grind him down on the outside. But it is game on, dude. They race to the 16th pole. And game on, dude. Martin Garcia, a successful sojourn back to Texas. And Bob Baffert wins his fourth Lone Star Derby. It's game on, dude. Kreider was second, and Henshin Hero finished third.
They're at the post. They're off in the Wano Stakes. Off a step slow was Bear's finish line. For the early lead, just call me Roger and down on the inside, Joey's best. Hotep is wrangled back by Patrick Husbands, resisting that move as they run into the first turn. And it's Joey's best and on the outside, just call me Roger. Bear's finish line is third. Hotep, hard held down on the rail in a fourth position. Elko match is fifth in the early going as they run through the first turn, 24 and four for the opening quarter. Just call me Roger is up on the outside of Joey's best and takes the lead by a neck into the back stretch. Just call me Roger by a neck. Joey's best to the inside, second, a break of a length and a half. A Bears finish line is back in a third position. Hotep is angled off the rail in fourth and is sent three wide by Patrick Husbands, midpoint of the back stretch. Alco Matcha trails this field, that opening half mile in 48 and two, and the battle intensifies as they run toward the far turn. Just call me Roger. Hotep comes on on the outside in a second. Bears finish line. Down to the inside, third, and now two and a half lengths off the lead. Alco matches past one. Now trailing is Joey's best. They ran three quarters in 111 and two, and they still have to catch. Just call me Roger at the top of the stretch. Now Husbands is asking Hotep in second. Bears finish line. Alco match under left handed encouragement. Might have brushed there with Bears finish line. And Hotep comes to just call me Roger and takes the lead. And it's Hotep as they come toward the 70 yard pole who's lengthening his stride and pulling away. Hotep, a comfortable winner of the Wando. Alco match was second. Just call me Roger third. And Bears finish line fourth. They're off in the vigil stakes. Signature red from the extreme outside. Now Hollywood hit comes on and fatal bullet is right at the flank of Hollywood hit as they continue through the shoot. And it's Hollywood hit to the inside. Fatal bullet just a half a length behind. Signature red is third and Grisette's landing is fourth. Field Commission is back in fifth and six lengths off the lead. Then together Indy, who's second to last, and awesome rhythm of trails. And Hollywood hit is flaunting his speed. 22 seconds for that opening quarter mile. And it's Hollywood hit as they head toward the far turn. But Fatal Bullet is keeping Hollywood hit in his sights in second. Down to the inside is Grisette's landing in the third position in signature red. Field Commission is a fifth and three and a half lengths off the lead. Together, Indy has a lot to do. Awesome rhythm trails, and they come over to the top of the stretch. Hollywood hit a grueling half mile of 43 and three. Fatal Boat is on the outside second. Then Signature Red and Field Commission begins to close down the center of the track. Hollywood hit, he's a machine, and he's in the last 16th. A phenomenal effort by Hollywood hit to win the vigil over Fatal Bullet and Signature Red. The running time, a track record, 120.
They're at the post. They're off. Trace Barachos gets two taps of the whip to show speed. Rail trip away in second. Then comes Sangaria at the rail and slews Tiz now. Dakota Phone moves in behind them. Then Cigar Man and the early trailer is Art Currency. Trace Barachos wanted the lead and he's got it to the back stretch. Trace Barachos and Victor Espinosa two lengths in front of Rail Trip, who's content to track him in second for Bejarano. Sangari races in third and he's about four from the front. Dakota Phone moves through at the rail just inside of track record holder Slews Tiz now. Then a length and a half to Cigar Man, second to last and six from the front. And the trailer is Art Currency and they head up the back stretch in the 31st. Mervyn Leroy handicap and Trace Barachos only lead three quarters of a length now from defending Hollywood Gold Cup winner Rail Troop who tracks from second. Dakota Phone has moved through inside of Sangaree and he's third at the rail and two and a half lengths off the lead. Cigar Man is fifth. He's got five to come. Slews Tiz now is still second to last six lengths behind and the trailer is Art Currency and the leader is still Trace Barachos. Three furlongs from the wire and the Mervyn Leroy and he's a length in front of Rail Trip in second. Sangaree is three deep in third. Dakota Phone stays at the rail, two off the lead. Cigar Man is next, lose his now, gotta go, three deep and five from the front. Art Currency is the trailer and we have a new leader, it's Rail Trip. Rail Trip takes over the lead at the top of the stretch. He's suddenly a length and a half in front of Sangaree, Trace Barachos, Dakota Phone between horses to the outside, lose his now and Rail Trip is clear and Rail Trip is gone. Rail Trip far in front, Sangaree is second, then Trace Barachos, Rail Trip, yes. Rail trip one by three, could have been twice that. Sangaree was second, very close for third. Cigar Man and Trace Barachos. They're off. Vision and Gold stumbled just a bit after the start. Southern Fireball and Crisis of Spirit show speed. Switch is close to the pace. Church Camp and Win from Alou are next. Tanda's on the move at the rail. Then All Due Respect followed by Seriously. And the stumble has Vision and Gold at the back of the pack. Southern Fireball is the leader about to be taken on early by Alex Solis and Tanda who comes through from the inside. Southern Fireball just ahead in front. Tanda's on the attack and moves through and takes over the lead at the half mile pole of the 48th. Railbird stakes. The new leader is Tanda and she's strong going into the far turn. She's two lengths in front of Crisis of Spirit and Win for Malou. Switch will be three wide leaving the back stretch, but now she's moving in the yellow cap. Here's Switch within three of the lead. All due respect and seriously have five to come. Vision and Gold is seven from the lead. Church Camp's at the rail and Tanda is the leader at the top of the stretch. She's three quarters of a length in front of Southern Fireball. Switch is asked for her drive. Here's Switch within a length and a half of the lead. All due respect and Vision and Gold are next. Then Crisis of Spirit and Tanda comes to the final furlong. She'll have to hold off Switch who is on the attack and set down for the final 16th. Tanda's a length in front. Switch has every chance to gun her down. All due respect is third. Tanda, Switch, Tanda wins. The 48th Railbird Stakes goes to Tanda. She beat Switch three quarters of a length. All due respect was third. Close for fourth. Crisis of Spirit and Vision and Gold.
They're in the gate. And they're off. Soaring Empire comes away first. Turf Melody is right there with some early speed, too. Then down inside, it's Carnivore. And on the far outside, Kodoy. So they begin this long five furlong run into a brisk wind down the backstretch. It's really blowing hard there. And Turf Melody is the first out of there to lead the pack down the backstretch run. Soaring Empire alongside second, Carnivore toward the inside third. And then it's Remand, who's up close to the pace today, running along in fourth. Drossemeyer covered up in behind horses. He's now fifth. Then Kodoy and Fly Down is the trailer. Fly Down now about seven lengths from the lead. And into the wind quarter of 23 and four. Midway down the back stretch run, Carnivore leads the way. Ramon Dominguez is trying to ration out that speed to lead by a measured length over Turf Melody through a half and 47 and three fifth seconds. Soaring Empire now being ridden along has to keep up. And then on the far outside, it is Remand, who's only about two and a half from the lead. Drossemeyer is fifth with a half mile to go. Fly Down is now on the outside and in the clear. And Kodoy has dropped back to trail the field. Around the far turn. And Carnivore has a narrow lead. Soaring Empire right there. Fly down coming with a sweeping move on the far outside. And Drosemeyer looms in behind the horses that take the way to the top of the stretch. Off the turn into the stretch. Soaring Empire and fly down. Drosselmeyer switched to the outside. Carnivore fades. Remand far outside. Fly down has come away with the lead. And fly down strikes the eighth pole. Clear by four. Drosselmeyer runs in second, then remand on the outside, and Soaring Empire toward the rail, looking very good indeed, was fly down by six commanding lengths to win the Dwyer over Drosselmeyer, Remand, and Soaring Empire.